Hey everybody, welcome back to Tarot and Not to Tarot. Today I am doing a brief unboxing video and these are the cards that I'll be using for the next week to do my daily pulls in my story, so keep a lookout. I am from New York, specifically the Bronx, and growing up on King's Bridge, right by Fordham Road, there was Poe Cottage. There's still Poe Cottage. I don't know if that's Poe Park, but I know that Poe Cottage is there. So. For me, it was always a big deal that this person who wrote these horror stories that I was really into and loved to read um, had a home here in the borough that I was raised in. And for me, Halloween and Edgar Allan Poe go hand in hand. So when I found this deck that um, was made by Rose Wright and Eugene Smith, I fell in love. I bought it. I had to have it. So... I did some research or I tried to do some research on it. I really didn't find a whole lot of information about it. Um, if you don't know a whole lot about Edgar Allan Poe, he was um, a big uh, fiction horror story writer back in the early 1800s. He was a writer. He was a critic and an editor. Um, he never really made it big in his lifetime. He did publish um, one story that made it big. However, he didn't make a lot of money off of it. Um, when he moved to the Bronx, his wife, who they say was his cousin and who was also 13, but back in those days, um, I guess that was a regular thing. Anyway, long story short, she died of tuberculosis here in New York City. And um, Edgar Allan Poe uh, turned into an alcoholic and shortly thereafter his life spiraled downwards. But he was um, a literary genius when it came to horror stories. And um, this month I'm going to be talking about some of his stories and how I feel like they tie into the spiritual universe. Uh, keeping with that theme. Um, it comes in this beautifully illustrated box. It does have a magnet close so that you can keep your cards and your companion book safely put away. The book is 288 pages. It is full color glossy pages. So it's like a really beautifully illustrated um, book to look at. The artwork is absolutely phenomenal. The colors are gorgeous. Um, I really, really, really love um, the artwork on this deck. Um, the cards themselves, um, they are, you know, the artwork is beautiful. I'm not going to deny that. And I'm really looking forward to taking my time and going through them individually and taking a look at each and every one of them. But I'm going to say that the card stock is pretty weak. These are pretty flimsy cards. If you shuffle them too much or you were not very gentle with them, they would bend, crease, break easily. Um, saying um, that, I will say that they are... About standard size pretty easy to shuffle um, because they're cheaper card stock it's a little bit easier to shuffle um, but I wouldn't use these quite so often especially if I want to keep them pretty and looking new um, so all in all um, I love this deck I will be using it you know Halloween seasonally um, to get into the groove of things but it's not something like i said that i would use on the regular because i do want to keep them nice for a long time but i love it and that's my review